I will be preparing for the SCG Open this weekend. But um, since I'm going to have to go in like an hour, 40 minutes or so, I'm not sure what deck I want to play in the SCG Open, what decks I want to start testing. First, I want to see the kind of GP results and then kind of um, conclude on where the SCG is going to be, where I want to pick my spot. So I know I'm going to play Splinter Splin Twin. I know I'm going to be playing in Pittsburgh. So I thought I'd just jam a game right now of that. Um, I'm trying some different stuff. I'm trying to Spell Snare over a Roast, and I'm moving the Roast to the sideboard. And maybe the Spell Skite's not that great because I want to be all Flash. So I could be mistaken having the Spell Skite, although I like having I like having some number of Spell Skites in this format. Like I think it's good. I'm trying to think twice. Um, basically what Think Twice is, I'm hoping it allows me to do is grind a little bit harder versus the Jund decks and uh, punish people for leaving up mana open. So it makes me better a little better against the fair decks, a little worse versus the unfair decks. But um, I think I'm willing to try it. I think like having like a Think Twice in this number might be okay in this deck. It's it's really like for the peak slot, so we'll see. I don't think I need the information. Like I feel like maybe it's a little, I'm a little too overconfident, but Um, I think I'd rather just have the extra card than the information, if that makes sense. Maybe it's a little worse with Snapcaster Mage, but... So this hand's... Not the greatest, but I think I'm going to keep it. It's pretty weak to a discard spell. But... I think it's fine. So this is like representing spell snare pretty hard, but I don't mind locking him out of a turn of like casting something like pretty powerful. Okay. Looks like he has a pretty slow start, which is good for us. Grimlaw Mentor is going to make it so we can you can trade up with our Deceiver Arc, which is not that great. So in the upkeep, I'm going to tap his Grimlaw Master down. I'm doing this so, like, he can't get in two points of damage if he like has another burn spell. He has to have another instant speed burn spell. Yeah, that's not the greatest for us. Now he can just hit us with the Give Long Answer. But that way if we draw a twin we just win. No, we didn't. So that's Serum Visions, I think. Cryptic Man's good. So this is Lightning Bolt, but I don't know if I want another Lightning Bolt. I'm just gonna do this now just because I don't wanna like get hit with like double burn spell and die. So I just like doing that now.
You have double sand blaze? That'd be gross. Go to one. We have two cryptics, so... I don't actually mind our spot here. Unless he, like, holds a burn spell. Yeah, it's not gonna be good. <laughs> So we're probably just dead here. We can find a twin now. Nice. All according to plan. Unfortunately, Cyber's not that great versus Burn. But. I think I'd rather just have Roast instead of these remands. Is Jace good? Uh, I don't think so. No, I don't think I want Jace. I think I'm fine with this configuration. Wish we had Glenelandra. Card's very good in this matchup. Cyborg might want to have like a kind of more of a transformational Cyborg versus Jun though. Maybe Glenelandra's just right. Yeah, I'm just gonna mulligan the sands. Keep this one. Yep, perfect. <laughs> I mean, perfect is this five land I can get. Maybe Bolt. I will get Bolt or Sand Visions, I think. Rift Bolt. It's not the worst. Sand Goblin Guide. Alright, um, we have a plan. Seventeen. Just gonna pop this guy off right now. You don't have it. You the upkeep we tap down his white source. I'm just gonna wait. Yeah, I think I'm upkeep. I'm gonna tap down his white source. Interesting. So I think we can afford a way to turn. An attack. So I think you would have attacked if you had a bolt or a searing blaze. So I think he just has path.
Maybe we shouldn't have waited on that. I'm gonna attack him. We just get him. So the reason I put on the pester right there. I guess he's destructive really now. Okay. So really did that now after I untapped it. I guess he had to. So we should have went for the green source, I think. Yeah, that was dumb. Alright, we got to hope to fade this draw step. Nothing. Mm, curse. Oh, nice. Got there. Mm. Not miss anything, right? No. Easy. I think I have another time to do another game. So yeah, I think I should have tapped down his green source. That was my major mistake that game. I'll keep this hand. Especially in the play, it's very good. I just play with the fetch land just in case I want to bolt turn one. I mean, it's very unlikely, but I take less damage. I think if I want to try and get double red. This could be scape shift. Usually scape shift has that type of opening. I think it's a lot more, like, scary if we just go, like, Steam Vents, untap, bang. Yeah, this is probably Scape Shift. Yeah. So I'm getting my island here. Reman this.
And then, so, the reason why I didn't play Steven's tap is because people really, like, him, like, he will not tap out this turn. Like, he affords him not to tap out. So, when you're playing Twin, you want to leave that three mana open because it just uh, makes him play so much differently. Yeah, see, now he has to have Search for Tomorrow, now he has to have all this mana up. I think we're going to try and remand this. I might remand my remand, but... I think that's fine. Start some origins. So it's like, it's like the bring to light version. Hmm. I think we have to go for... Let's hope the Snapcaster remand is going to be enough. He has another counter spell, we're just dead. I'm not sure how we could have won this game any differently, but okay, cool, we're still alive. We use a little another land. Maybe we should have played Pestermite there, because we could have almost killed him. No, we still kill him with Bolt here, so we're fine.
So we're gonna put the blue moon snake in scape shift. I think bring in the gate. Kind of like I'm lawmancer to pressure him. Don't think spell skate's that great. I like this spell, I like the spell snares. I don't like electrolyze. Don't really like bolt. I don't think I want Jace or Karanos. It's too slow. We want Roast just to be able to like trade with like a Opsilon Bailoth or something along those lines. Let me try something like this. Could be a mistake. Let me. Uh, uh, yeah, I think this is fine. I'm gonna hedge versus Teferi. Because Teferi really, like, really shuts the door on us. We'll keep this hand. Place this carriage driver and we just snipe it off with the spell snare. Since you do the steam vents, I can afford not to, um. I can afford to get Mountain there if I had to, so that's why like I played the going turn. All right, so I don't want to go below 19 because it forces it makes him so like he only has seven land, so it makes it a lot harder for him. So I'm just gonna play this island, Sandvisions, three man up. Alright, I don't know what he's trying to resolve, but I'll just remand my serum regions. Yeah, I think that was a really good exchange for me. a lot of blue mana. Alright, so I'm going to play Blood Moon here. Because he has one blue. Yeah, so he's like trying to dig out of this, but I think we got him in a pretty good spot.
Yeah, I think I smell both. I think it's fine. Gonna snap cast her spell snare here. Nice. 